Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to debloat Windows 11 for most of the junk apps. The term debloat refers to the process of removing those unnecessary apps and services, in this case from a Windows 11 installation, which is also referred to bloatware. It is important to note that we're talking about those apps that came pre-installed with the operating system. If you install additional apps and you no longer find them useful, you have to remove them from the settings app. So let's dive into the steps. For for this tutorial, we're going to use a third party tool known as John Control, which you can find on this GitHub page. And this is the link right here, which is not supported by Microsoft. So if you plan to use it, just use it at your own risk. So from the uh, John Control page, scroll down and download the zip folder on your computer. Then open the folder where you downloaded the file. And then we're just going to select the file and click the extract all button. Select where to extract the application. And you don't have to install this application because it's a portable program. Now click extract. Now we're going to launch the application. And from here you have different options to use the John Control app to debloat Windows 11. For example, if you have a computer from HP, the application offers an option to remove all the bloatware that comes from that OEM. There are other options that you can also choose from, and that will depend on the applications that you want to remove. The person that built this application also added a list of the most popular apps that users want to uninstall, and you will select those apps by just clicking this option right here. You can also, if you want to do all this manually, you can just click the skip and use Copilot, and that will give you a clean list where you can add or remove the apps that you want to remove from the system. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to click this option right here. And as you can see, we have populated the top apps that users find more likely to uninstall. In this case, it includes TikTok, Instagram, the Get Started app, the Office app, Solitaire Collection, Mixed Reality Portal, OneNote, People, Print 3D, and actually this Zoom video is for the uh, Music Player app on Windows 11. If you want to remove additional apps, just look at the left and from the list, select the application that you want to remove and then simply select the application and click the move button and that will add it to the list but it will not remove it yet because we have to click the uninstall button once we have all the list of apps that we want to remove to the bloat windows 11. now all these applications are typical applications but you also find this option right here show system apps but you have to be careful using this option as you can see we even get a warning here that you can uninstall most of the built-in apps even those that don't have the uninstall option on the settings app but the app won't allow you to remove a few of the uh, components that are important for the operating system and built-in apps just to give you some examples you can uninstall the microsoft edge browser the .NET framework the ui saml framework that comes installed on Windows 11 because those are required experiences to run the operating system. And these are just a few of them. There are a lot more that you don't want to remove. So the best way to go by deploying Windows 11 is to uninstall those apps that you understand what they are and you no longer need and stay away from anything else. Also, not everyone has the same needs uh, for applications. So for example, if you use your computer for work, you might not need the Xbox apps, but if you're a gamer, you might need that. So you might not want to remove the Xbox app, but for other people that might be a junk app that wants to remove. So just keep that in mind. I'm just going to scroll down so you can see a list of the applications that this particular program allows us to remove from the system. And once you added all the applications to this list, you only need to click the uninstall button. But before we do that, if you selected an application and you want to remove it, just select it again and click the remove button. If you want to start over, just click the remove all button right here. If you know a specific app and you can't find it on the list, you can also use the search box right here and that will help you to narrow it down. Once you're ready, click the uninstall button to remove all the bloatware from your computer. And now click yes.
and here we're getting a preview of the apps being uninstalled on Windows 11. And here we get a summary of all the apps that has been removed from the system. And that is all there is to it. That's how you upload Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.